So how to add any code or content on WordPress website in footer section. So for example, at the moment we got here a link and we would like to add one more. So how to do it? Simply type, first of all, we need to like, uh, go to dashboard. So in your address bar here, we can see website name, website address, type here VP login. And here we should enter our login details. So once login, you should uh, locate uh, appearance. Or uh, if you are using Avada, like in this example, you should go to Avada team options. So uh, all depends on what uh, what team you are using. So in this case, we are using Avada team 5.3 version. Here we can see, if we click on Avada team options, uh, then we need to select footer, footer, footer content. You can also add more space by activating footer widgets. If we will acti activate footer widgets and click on save changes, let me show you what happens. Here we can, uh, we can add more space and more content possible to include in these uh, footer widgets. So these footer widgets possible to edit and add content if we will go to appearance widgets and click on open. So here we can see footer widget and we can drag and drop content like text, custom HTML, images, to this section. So, uh, as you can see, it's split it on sidebar widget 1, sidebar widget 2 as well. Here is footer widget 1, footer widget 2. So, uh, moment footer widget got four columns. We can leave it like two columns if you would like. And in this section, then we need to add content on footer widget 1 and footer widget 2. So it will be displayed something here and something here. Okay, anyway, if you do not need this footer widget, you can use still only footer. So let's disable it. Click on save changes. Refresh page. It will take some... Uh, I'm also using cache system, so sometimes it's not uh, showing, but... In most like cases it should refresh the page so let's open it again one second so let's leave copyright bar of of save changes and then we would like to add one more link so here is copyright text if you are using uh, another template, probably you should also change it by clicking on Visit Website. Here you can see uh, navigation bar like this, and here we click on Customize. When we click on Customize, here we can see also Menu. Uh, click on different buttons here and see what you can change here. For example, header image. For some templates, we can change here uh, footer as well. So this is how it works like. Now let's add, for example, one more link to About Us page. So I'll copy link for the About page. And we'll type code here. So let's type here code like this and I will show you now. Click on save changes and here we can see that uh, we got link 1 and link about us. I will put example of this code in this video description so make sure to check it in case if you need to add links here.
Also, I would like to mention for some websites, uh, you should allow or disallow uh, global settings or local settings for the page. So, for example, select this page, it's my page, click on edit page. And here in, uh, we can see that we have fusion page bar options and footer. Click on footer, display footer widget area. Let's click on now. Here we can also display copyright area if you like. So let's click on here on no. Click on update. It will refresh page. So when global settings disabled for local settings for this page disabled, you can see that now it's displaying only footer. Uh, Guys, this video is only to demonstrate you how many variations we got to, in order to modify this footer. If you still have any questions how to do this, please uh, type your questions below and I will record new video especially for your, uh, for your questions. So I will answer it with a new video. So make sure to ask questions below.